I mean, if, if Spanner wants to play, I mean, he has an open challenge. Let's uh, see what he does. So, Benoni or Cecconi? Let's go Cecconi. Check on only uh, it goes bishop d3. Yeah, it's a good line. Pretty good line. Yeah. So white goes for a uh, total board domination. In this line, I play this move. This is actually horrible. I think he should have gone G5 there. Okay, now we go for the, the counterplay. Counterplay. <laughs> Not much to speak of, really. But it's solid still. It's not like a uh, rust or anything. Okay. I think I might have to open lines with e4, knight takes rook e8. And knight takes knight e4. Yeah, I like that. So we're trying to get counterplay on the on the black squares, but of course white is better. No doubt. Rook e8. Going for b5. Knight d7 to e5. So we're going to get counterplay. But on the other hand, white can always give up a pawn at some point. That looks like a good practical move, bishop e2, which will dominate the knight once it comes to e5. Also protecting against any uh, imminent danger with uh, the b5 push. Uh, okay, that's passive, but on the other hand, after g6, it will be hard for uh, white to break through after h6. So it doesn't want to take. I understand that decision. Uh, B5 takes, takes. It's not working yet. This is if I play B5 at any point. I don't want any rook A7 business. So Queen F4. B5 takes, takes, pointing. I was thinking C4 here. H5, quite aggressive, but we have this to begin with. H6, I take on C3. Well, it's, 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 it's no mate yet, so. Takes, queen takes, takes, just queen takes, so it's no mate yet, so. G6, FG, knight takes, pawn takes, knight takes, pawn takes, knight takes. Uh, there's also g6. 
Miks nii, et seeks pohut oleks suhte? Ei, kus on tõi? So, ma olen nüüd G6, tunne või? Ma olen nüüd Time Anyway, see oled siis tõud. So, we'll take with the Knight. That's a given. Hmm, did not, not expect that move. I have to take here now, in this. Okay. No, no!